We all want more. More money, more books, more friends. Our approach to life is always with the goal of consumption. Consumption has become the default in our society and it's time for us to question that default. We need to switch to conscious consumption, not only materially, but also with our time. One of the books that helped me clarify some of these thoughts was the book Essentialism by Greg McCohen. In the book, Greg explores the concept of the disciplined pursuit of less, the central idea being less but better. By exploring what we are currently doing, eliminating the trivial and executing on the things that we value the most, we are becoming what Greg terms essentialists. Essentialists are people that are conscious about the decisions that they make. When reading the book, Greg explains that the pursuit of success can often be a catalyst for failure. In other words, being successful can actually drive us away from the things that made us successful in the first place. As we make our way in the world, achieving and striving, we have more demands and strains on our time. These strains are an inevitable side effect of success, but it's up to us to be conscious about the decisions that we are making. Time is the most valuable asset that we have, yet most of us fritter that time away. Whether it is surfing the web or death scrolling through Instagram and Twitter, the time that we have is an asset that we all take for granted. I found that, that in very many instances, success became so consuming for people, they really didn't have even any time to work or invest in the next level. And so success, however, however much people want it and, and like having it, uh, it can become a catalyst for failure. And so, and so really that's, I was trying to name that you know, tangible phenomenon in leadership dynamics, in teams, in companies, mm. uh, and, and, and so that was the angle. After reading this book, I had a mindset shift away from minimalism purely from a materialistic point of view and becoming an essentialist with my time. As you grow and develop and more people want your time and attention, it is necessary to understand what your goals and objectives are. Only once you know what you're striving for can you plan your time accordingly. It's not about becoming more productive, but instead doing the tasks that give you the most value. That trade-off is what you need in order to pursue what you value the most and for you to become an essentialist. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in watching the Book Talk Today podcast that I did with Greg talking about his book Essentialism, then the link will be in the description below. See you in the next video.